I woke up a little early um, and thank God because I meant to put my press on nails on last night. Actually, let me pause and pull them out so I don't forget. Okay, these are gift sets I have and I'm thinking candy corns is the right pick for Halloween next week. So I'm gonna go back to my purple kitties. You guys have seen these on me in another vlog. Um, the set before this I took off before camping. They were still hanging on just fine. They had been on for a week. They were like this witchy set. But going camping, I did not want to have press on nails. Like I cut my nails short, short, short because you know, I want to be able to scrub my nails when they get dirty and gross camping. So I think we're going to go with the kitty. I like to do these at night because then I go to sleep and no water is introduced to like the bond sticker stuff. Um, until the next day and they usually hang on like for 14 days when you do that Sometimes when I put them on and they go straight into my day like with all my hand washing and stuff They'll only last like six to seven days sometimes so But that's okay because next week we're switching to candy corn. All right, I'm gonna put my nails on make Jackson's star Jackson's lunch Get his breakfast ready then wake him up then after I drop him off, I'm going to go to the gym. I need to figure out what I'm going to wear because it is cold outside, cold for Texas. Um, and I got to walk him in up to the school, like in whatever I'm wearing to the gym. So I might end up being cold. So I might just wear a tank top with a sweater on it and just let my legs be cold. I don't know. It seems like I'm putting way too much thought into this, but that is my whole life. I put way too much thought into everything. But after the gym, we've got some errands to do. Uh, I was walking through what we're doing for scouts because I need to go pre-scout our hike today So you guys are gonna go with me. I've been to the park a million times I know what animals are there, but I want to be sure when I take um, The information on the animals for our adventure that I just double check and just super Sometimes like I'm just type A like that So I'm gonna go then I need to pick up some oatmeal and carrots to feed the animals on the um, adventure. And then I need to put together their bird feeder DIY bags. And then I need to figure out some stuff for the PTO and I'll just take you guys along for it. Okay, so Jackson woke up very early this morning after I did my nails. Very like strange because he never wakes up. Um, that early and uh, he basically woke up at 5.45 and um, let me see if I put enough no I didn't put enough sometimes if you put too much these overflow this is my first time using the new skull um, waffle maker thing so I worry that if I put too much it'll overflow but I don't think I put enough all right, so I got that going. Y'all remember I bought that last week. I've got water boiling to, I need to get his thermos out, to get his thermos. He's gonna have mac and cheese for lunch. And, oh, okay. I need to get my, my cabinets are a mess right now. I need to get my espresso going. Oh. Okay, I was worried I was low in water. I made too much grounds this morning, which what I'll just do is have a second espresso later when I do that. Okay, so my espresso's ready. I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute while I check on the waffle because I ice it down anyway, so it's okay if it gets a little cold. Hey, Connie. Yeah. It's a it's like a waffle, but it's flat at the top. Look, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. It's gonna... a waffle pancake. Yeah. It's a waffle pancake. Yeah. We should call it a a fluffy waffle. A puffle. A fluffy waffle. Oh, okay. Actually, it's called the puffle. Okay, it's a puffle. It's a it's a skeleton shaped puffle. Okay. I was able to use the little bit of batter left to make one tiny skull. It's actually super cute like this. 
I think I'll make them like this next time. Look, maybe I was able to make one tiny skull. It's really hot, okay? But when you're done with these, you can dip that skull in the extra syrup, okay? I started making my coffee and I realized I wasn't vlogging, so I'm gonna use my French vanilla. Little story on this, you can buy it on eBay. It's expensive, but you're still spending less than the going to Dunkin'. Um, but I cut it and I do like, this is, I feel like this is gonna make a mess, let's see. Oh, it's not going at all. There we go. Yep, it's making a mess. I cut it with, um, like I use like a small amount of the swirl and I cut it with my cheaper flavored syrups, if that makes sense. The problem is my male person, we have metal boxes in our neighborhood, you know, that you have to walk down to. And at the bottom of those, we have package boxes. Well, this cannot sit in the heat. And my male person, we thought it was lost. It said it was delivered to my box, it wasn't. So I basically waited and waited and I got a hold of them like four days later. And they put it in the wrong person's box. I made them open all of them and look for my package. And it sat in the heat. When I opened it, the internal temperature was at 96 when I put a probe in there. It's not supposed to go over 90. So I was like, you know what? It's probably ruined. And it might still be. I might end up getting sick from it later. But I am. Um... <laughs> this is so terrible. I... I put some in a spoon and I had it that day and the next morning I put some more in a spoon and I had it again and I waited to see if I felt sick it was completely sealed they come with like a foil vacuum seal over the top so like bacteria wasn't necessarily introduced but it does have some dairy in it which is why it's got that temp warning so far I haven't got sick but I also feel like I could end up getting sick from it later, maybe, the longer it's open. I don't know. If anyone knows, I worked in the restaurant industry, so I'm very aware of, like, food standards and why it has that temp warning. But here I am, using it anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm Jackson's lunch for today, and I got these on Amazon at the beginning of the school year. They're really fun because you can write little notes. They're dinosaurs, which he loves. So we're gonna head out now. I can't do this one handed. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to the gym and then I'm going to the grocery store. And then I'm hoping it will be warm enough for me to go over where we're gonna be doing our nature walk slash mini hike tonight so that I can like kind of pre-observe what animals there will be, what birds specifically there will be to write about and pull some information for my kids so that we can talk about them as we see them. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'll show you guys. I'm stopping at the grocery store after the gym because I need to get food for the ducks and the Nutra rats. And I know you hear rats and you think they're not like, oh my God, that's gross. Like it's a rat, but they look like giant beavers. They're honestly quite cute. Um, I know they're invasive species, but this park has, um, I think three of them. Uh, and they love carrots. I've learned that over the years. They love carrots. So I'm going to get them carrots and hopefully they'll come out. I'm going to get a couple bags and hopefully they'll come out while I'm there vlogging because I don't, obviously I don't vlog or video my kids and scouts. Um, I'm not going to do that. So hopefully, hopefully they come out. Okay. I am home from the gym and the grocery store now and I got the stuff I needed. I'm gonna, I feel, my body hurts so bad from the weather, but I need to go, um, I just went over, they have a leadership book, I just used Jackson's book because the last leader of the Tigers never passed on the leadership book, and then I write my lesson plans online, um, and I'm creating a binder for the next leader that takes over, so they have, like, basically all the lesson plans they would need for um, the next group of tigers. So there's a leader book, it wasn't passed on to me. So I use resources online and create lesson plans based on the adventures. So I was just going over Jackson's book um, for this adventure, which I'll show you guys. Amber, you're so grunty. It's this one, this is the one we're working on. And then some of my scouts are making up the last hiking adventure we did. So it has all these requirements that the scouts need to do 
um, and then just go through the requirements and write out lesson plans and how we're going to go about it. So I needed to check um, to make sure I got the requirements on my piece of paper so that I can go ahead of time and like note anything of interest that might be good for this adventure and um, pull some like facts about them, the animals and stuff. So here we are. Aww. Oh, I don't have anything for you yet. Sorry. 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 Sorry, friends. I'll bring food tonight. I know. I know. Oh my gosh. So, there's a trail around here. But is that a freaking chicken? I've never seen the chickens here. Why are there chickens here? This is a first. Oh my gosh random. Hey guys, you're a rooster, huh? Wow, that is a first. Oh, I don't have anything. All right, that is crazy. Did somebody dump them? I've never seen them here. That makes me kind of sad. All right, where's the Nutri-Rat, friends? I'm going to put the carrots out and see if they come. Okay, so I'm getting a second workout in and I'm looking for oh, they wouldn't be in the wooded trails though I'm looking for my little friends wait is that one or is that a turtle I can't tell I see something under there yeah that's a turtle I'll try to zoom in y'all see the turtle um but See my little friend. There's three of them. I just don't know where they'd be right now. Hopefully they're out when it warms up though. Oh, that's a turtle. The little turtle's running. He was trying to catch a butterfly. That's hilarious. Okay, I circled back through to see if any of the new rats came out and they didn't. So what I'll do tonight if they come out, um, there's a freaking squirrel right there. If they come out, I will take a video without my kids in it um, for you guys. I'm kind of sad, but hopefully they come out tonight. Maybe it's just too cold for them right now. I'm actually going to go get some cracked corn at the store because there's a lot of um, squirrels here and the chickens. So, oh God, oh God. Oh my, <laughs> that, that was a lot of birds flying at once. <laughs> Bye friends. I know, I'll be back. Okay, I came in to get some more feeding stuff for the kids to feed the animals and I got sucked into the Christmas department and I'm looking for a Santa I want every year and he sells out. This is cute, look what they have this year. These little yard signs. Those are sweet. They have a nativity. They had a lot of ooh, sports stuff on sale. Clarence aisle, my favorite aisle. Let's see what they got. Bottle bash. It's always good to find like these outdoor games for scouts. This is Jackson's sleeping bag we already have. Yeah. <laughs> Which one is this? All the sleep. Oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, not that he needs another sleeping bag, but you guys, it's a dino. Oh no, oh no. How did that get in my cart? <laughs> oh my gosh, they have garbage pail kids. Like, crossover with Stranger Things. What is this one? What is this from? Is this one of the classic ones? Oh my god, I wish they had the witch one. I would get the witch one. Did you guys like Garbage Pail Kids? There's like more. It's all the same. What's this one? Oh, it's Steve from Stranger Things. They got a lot of toys out here finally. But I'm done Christmas shopping. Although I am going to get this sleeping bag because um, it doesn't hurt to have an extra. Let's see. 
Buzz, you're on sale. But we have tons of Toy Story stuff. They have some Encanto stuff. Loser. Just trying to see. Oh, wow. Just trying to see if there's anything I could. He doesn't have any Encanto stuff, but he has so many figurines. This is a great gift idea for younger kids. I've already done all my Christmas shopping, so I'm really not trying to add something unless it's really good for, like, storing later on another holiday or whatever. Some good deals, but I'll leave them for other people because I don't need them. I, I, my eye, this caught my eye because Jackson's so under Nerf guns and these like mega ones, but somebody stole the bullets and that is why it is on sale. And I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you gotta pull, yeah. I don't know how much those bullets are or if they have replacements, so it's not really worth it to me. Because they end up spending as much as the thing. If they had it down to $5, maybe. Wait, what is this? Oh, Spider-Man. No, it's Batman, not Spider-Man, the... <laughs> Interesting. So this is cool. Walmart's made these cutouts now. It's like $28. Looks like it's wood. Well, particle board wood. That one's broken. But so you can do the light thing where you like don't want to put all the lights up so it looks like the Grinch is still in yours. Have you guys seen that? You know what I mean? I came looking for this Santa. He's a tall Santa they usually have, but doesn't look like they have him yet. Wait a minute. I'm going to check outside. Hold on. I missed the stuff over here. But this Santa, I always want him. And he's the one I never can find. Guys, I finally got the witch. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to come back and get Jackson one after school. I'm going to go drop that. I just wanted the bucket, so I'm dropping the food to Justin. I'm... Um, I'm doing protein shakes today because my stomach's just been off. So I'm going to go drop this because I got my buckets. All right, so I'm finally having my lunch breakfast, lunch breakfast at 10.53. Um, like I said, I'm just doing protein shakes today because, like, I don't know, my stomach's been weird since the camp out. Um, I just haven't been as hungry, and then I'm not eating, then I get shaky. So if I'm not hungry, I'm just going to drink food today, if that makes sense. Okay. So, all right, I have oatmeal for the ducks and cracked corn duck squirrels, bird seed for the pigeon squirrels. There's also chickens that'll eat this and this, um, as we saw a random chicken and rooster at the pond. Um, so I pulled out as many bags. Some of my scouts aren't coming tonight, so I just did bags for the ones that are. And instead of giving them free range to just throw all this out, because what happens is one kid will dump everything, keep coming back before other kids really get a chance to spread much. So they each get their own bag of feed, and once it's gone, it's gone. They each get one carrot to feed the Nutra rats if they're out, or spread it out for them later when they do come out. Once it's gone, it's gone. So that's my strategy to keep the drama and um, wastefulness at bay. So I'm gonna put these together and then I'll show you. Okay, I'm finally done with this stuff. So in here I have my feed and then I'm taking a bag of carrots and just giving them one carrot. It's like big carrots, not like sticks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like full size carrots, right? And then in these I am doing, um, this is their bird feeder stuff and the instructions. They can use peanut butter or Crisco, but basically you cover this in Crisco or peanut butter. You roll it in the seeds, um, and then you take a string, put it through, and hang it on a tree, or you can just put the roll on a tree branch for the birds as well. So I'm just gonna bag these up, and then all I have to do is get the information on the animals, like fun facts, and then pack up my scowl box for tonight. And then I can finally shower. I feel so nasty. I feel so gross still from the gym. Like, I can't wait to shower. I'm like, okay, I just have to finish this. If I don't finish every single thing, then I'll get off task and my ADHD will be all over the place. So like, while I'm focusing, I need to get the stuff done because once it's done, that like looming, it's over my head, I've gotta do this, goes away, and then I can chill some before I start working on PTO stuff. 
I'm in the garage because we just lost power and I thought maybe it was our breaker, but it's not. Everyone in my neighborhood's posting that they don't have power right now. There's no reason. There's not bad weather or anything, but that's my cue to leave the house. Luckily, it's not hot, so I know the dogs will be okay, but um, I'm going to leave the house early then and go get, well, I could go see if McDonald's is open now because I was getting Jackson a Happy Meal for after school so that, because we had to go straight to Scouts earlier than usual today and now I'm like, I don't know if McDonald's is going to have power. It's funny because I was just uploading the video from earlier today on my computer so that I had it there and it's easy to edit <laughs> and then the power went out. Thank God I have an ups so it finished transferring, but that's my cue to leave. Okay, so I'm waiting for Jackson to get out of school. I got him his witch bucket, and I'm keeping it warm with my jacket, like insulation. So I'm going to give him his witch bucket and then have him eat before we go to our scout hike. I'm hoping my power's back on. So I have Jackson. I'm packing up the car, and we're about to head out. I'm hoping I see the Nutra rat so I can take like a little clip for you guys, but... I'm also mostly hoping for the kids' sake because I really hyped up these Nutra rats. And so if they're not there, I feel like I'm going to feel so bad. So, yeah. Hopefully they're there. All right. Leaving Scouts. I did not see Nutra rats for you guys, but my friend told me what McDonald's had the pumpkins. And now my collection is complete. <laughs> it's a lot of McDonald's today, but yay. I'm in Costco and I thought I'd stop and show you guys this and add it to my vlog that I have to edit when I get home but the basically Priscilla laundry detergent the Costco one it's made by Priscilla is $12.99 the sale I'm always talking about for 146 loads so this is what you hear me guys talk about non-stop um, I always buy it on sale I'm not going to today because I got to come back next week and I have till, oh shoot, what did I say? I have till, never mind, I don't have that long on it. I'm going to go ahead and get it. So I'm getting these two. I quickly realized I won't be back next week because I won't have a car um, for a few days. So I'm going to get this now because it ends the 23rd. I'm going to get the detergent ends the 23rd. I'm going to go ahead and get the toilet bowl cleaner I always get because it's on sale um, next week. The, the Dawn is going to be $7.99 next week through, I'll show you guys the flyer at home. I'll just add this to the end of the video, the vlog. Um, let's see. And where are, here we go. This is another staple I buy when it's on sale. So I'm just going to get it now because I'm not going to be here next week. I just realized I won't have my car back. Um, and I don't want to come in our smaller car. So the the place that fixed my car forgot one part of the damage from the accident. So it has to go back. It's so annoying. Okay, I think I got everything I need because I'm also out of bird seed. This is going to be an expensive trip. I needed a new pillow. I'll just show you guys at home. But the last thing I needed was parchment because I'm tired of overpaying at the grocery store when I can get it here. Like so much more for my money's worth here. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen Costco put out. A four foot tree for a hundred dollars. I'm sorry. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I was looking for this. It's $13.99. Well that got messed up but I'm gonna get this this year at the mansion. Okay well this is gonna be a nightmare because it all slid back while I was driving <laughs> but I had this in the front seat. This is a gingerbread mansion I showed you guys. Um, it's like pre-built which doesn't really matter because I hot glue my gingerbread houses together because we don't eat them like I've said before. Jackson strawberries, big pack of Coke Zero, Dr. Pepper Zero, the toilet bowl cleaner and finish were on sale and then I needed bird seed. I needed parchment. I have some clothes back there <laughs> that were on sale and I can't show y'all right now because they're way back there. I'll show you in a second. Then I needed Halloween candy um, and I needed to replace my pillow because it's like just ruined and deteriorating and I tried to wash it and stuff thinking that would help and it did not. So these were on sale for 23 
uh, the Serenity by Tempur-Pedics, so I just got one finally. I'll show you the clothes and then end this vlog for real, for real in a second. I forgot, I got bacon. <laughs> um, these are on sale for six right now. Um, they're like the heat leggings that you can put under your clothes for kids. They have the adult ones on sale too, but I just got Jackson some. I got this for myself because it's super soft. It was on sale. I think this was nine. Let me get the receipt. Yeah, the sleep hoodie was $9.99. Um, the kids set was six. And then I got for $15, I got Justin some of these Nautica sleep pants. It's like a double pack. Um, and then I got another, I'm actually wearing right now this. These are still $9. I would, if you like oversized, go a size up. So the small fit nicely, but I kind of like my sweaters oversized feeling. Let's see. This is the Buffalo. Oh, losing my receipt. This is the Buffalo um, brand or whatever. That's what I have on now, and I like it oversized. So, and then this is really cozy. <laughs> I didn't open it, but it was the only um, small medium left. The rest were too big. So that's it. I'm gonna end the vlog. See you guys in the next one. Bye.